Everyone looking to save some money on gas. And so when we heard of the car that runs on air, we just had to send our correspondent to check it out. ABC's Nick Schiffer and tonight running on empty. It may seem hard to believe, but this rust bucket could be the car of the future. So when I look in here, I see a garbage can. Yeah. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. a piece of wood and I see some random string. I mean, this is totally homemade, right? It is, yes. Oops. <laughs> Meet inventor Peter Dearman. His car needs no gas, no batteries, only air. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Oh, yes, yeah. I need fuel. Go ahead, quick, get in the car. I should, I should really have different hair. What emissions will this car produce? Uh, it won't actually produce any emissions because it's only air that we're using. We're not burning anything. Here's how it works. When you cool air to minus 300 degrees, it becomes a liquid. If you warm the liquid with the help of antifreeze, it expands back into a gas, powering the car's motor. So, fancy a spin? Range is three miles with a tailwind. Top speed's only 30. Look, it's an early prototype, but soon there'll be a more polished package developed by the company that designs engines for McLaren sports cars. In 40 years of inventions in this garage, Peter says this one is his most important. He may just make the old gas guzzlers disappear into thin air. Nick Schiffer, ABC News, Hertfordshire, England.